Hey, it's Oz here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that I'm using to drastically improve the quality of my MacBook's inbuilt camera. And I'm going to show you how you can do the same. It's easy, it's quick, and it's very cheap. Okay, so if you happen to work on a MacBook like I do, then you may have noticed that the camera is not that good. In fact, I would go as far as saying that the inbuilt camera on my wonderfully expensive MacBook sucks. Now, I've been doing online consultations over the years and I've always relied on the inbuilt camera in my Mac. And I've had to resort to all sorts of tricks like sitting in front of windows and having lights pointed at me and so on. But this winter, it has been particularly bleak here in the UK. And my office is in the back of my house, away from the sun. So things got pretty dark, to the point where I almost bought a lighting rig from Amazon. But first I decided to find out whether this was happening to anybody else. And the quick search in Google revealed that a lot of people are having this very same problem. You can see here some MacBook users experiencing poor FaceTime HD. You can see the new MacBook Pro bad camera quality. And that's in the Apple community. Poor FaceTime video quality on MacBook Pro. MacBook owners report poor FaceTime camera quality. MacBook's FaceTime HD camera quality issue. Yes, the MacBook's FaceTime HD camera is awful. And on and on. So that's how it is. We're stuck with a camera that's really not very good. Luckily, I found a tool. It's very small, it's very lightweight, and it actually fixes this problem. Let me show you. Okay, so this is me inside ScreenFlow, which is the application I use to record my desktop. And you can see the quality of the camera. It's not too good, not too bad. Now you'll notice here on the cameras that I can switch to something called eyeglasses. And that's a virtual camera that comes with this control panel. Now at the moment, the settings are on zero, but let me show you what happens. I can increase the brightness all the way up and get it just right. I can increase the temperature, make it warmer, make it colder. I can also change the tint, make it more green, more red. And you have other controls like saturation, contrast, and so on. But that is just right for me. Now this bit of film I shot last night under a bright light but you can see that even under the bright light, the default HD or rather the inbuilt camera on my MacBook wasn't that great. But using this, I was able to crank the brightness right up and it actually looks like it's plain daylight and I'm somewhere else in the world where the sun shines brightly. And here you can see a comparison of how one looks against the other. Now this software is a virtual camera. So the way that it works is it tells your system that it is a camera. So when you use an app like Skype or anything that uses your video, your system will ask you, where do you want to take your video input from? And you'll see your default camera, which is your inbuilt camera. And you'll also see the virtual camera. All you do is you select your virtual camera as your video input. And then you'll have access to this control panel, which is for your virtual camera. And with that, you can get the perfect lighting wherever you are. And it doesn't matter if you're recording at different times of the day, of the evening, even of the night, the light is going to change in the room, whatever you record. So you can adjust every single video differently until it's perfect. Now this little app is called eyeglasses and if you do a search in Google for eyeglasses, you'll see this ecam.com website. If you click on that, that will take you to the people who make this software. Now, as I said, it's very cheap. It's under $20. And when you consider that I was about to buy a lighting rig, which would have set me back something like 60 to $80 not to mention all the messing around with placing the lights and then removing them after I'm done recording, then this really is a no brainer. Now, the cool thing is that you can download it and try it for free for seven days to make sure that this is the right tool for you. 
So if you're experiencing that very poor camera issue on your MacBook, then give this a try and see the difference. And if you want to stay up to date with all these cool tips and tools, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. But in the meantime, take it easy and I shall catch you in the next video.